Namaste and welcome to High Tower Tarot. This is King Gaia bringing you guys another free tarot tutorial. Thank you for supporting my virtual classroom and for allowing me to be of service to you guys. So this is like my third time trying to pull uh, to pull up, to pull this video off. It's just constant interruption through the whole day. I wanted to do it live. Um, but it just, you know, it was either the dog barking, the neighbors, or uh, maintenance in the building. It, it's just, it was impossible. So, bear with me. If something comes up, a, hey. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna pull through. Okay, we're gonna make this happen. Um, tutorials are timeless <laughs> and timely and on divine timing, meaning perfect for you whenever you find them, okay? So whenever the universe guides you to my door or my table, that's when Tarot Wisdom is going to help you greatly. Um, there is a message um, here for you always, regardless of the nature of my videos, your spirit guides and higher self will find a way to turn me into your mirror or your teacher or your messenger today, okay? So returning viewers, members and subscribers, very good. You know, what's up, Collective? Thank you so much for your love and support and for, you know, always showing up for me. I'm here for you, too. So come as you are. I see you. I feel you. And I am one of you. You know, thanks on to my one, right? So what are we doing today? Um, anyway, if you're new to my channel, um, welcome to my table. I'm so glad that your intuition let you hear. Um, who am I? I'm a metaphysical teacher and human potential coach, and my focus is shadow work, okay? Um, I focus my spiritual coaching 100% on your inner work, shadow work, navigating your human condition, all of that gooey stuff, right? And I use tarot and oracle cards as a tool for self-discovery and self-empowerment and self-mastery. And um, how do I do it? I share um, lectures readings, tutorials, and experiences right here on this channel to help you become self-aware, authentic, and self-empowered. You know, as a shadow work um, expert and, you know, many of my resources, I will say all of them, <laughs> are crafted to help you do the inner work um, strategically and safely, okay, on your own terms. That's the most important part because healing especially candid shadow work it takes time you know we cannot rush the healing process so it has to be on your own terms so that you can easily heal and shed everything that's chaotic old stagnant toxic or fragmented that's holding you back in life okay um, or anything or anyone that is keeping you from physical emotional spiritual mental social or financial beliefs okay regardless of the nature of this issue right whether it's karmic or ancestral or past life or inner child or just presently accumulating shit because you know of conscious or subconscious neglect and um it doesn't matter it will be taken care of right i got you and um i already posted enough um content on shadow work and you know what is it and what to expect um, and, you know, from a shadow work journey and, and how to navigate it, you know, I posted an entire shadow work series right here on this channel, um, 11 episodes. There's a playlist. Look for it. Um, I have a shadow work tool that you can grab for free on my website, 100% no strings attached. I posted a shadow work related tarot tutorial as well, very insightful, and I also have a very... Um, detail Udemy master class on the topic as well and of course I offer um, spiritual counseling a hundred percent focus on your shadow work um, strategy okay my point is <laughs> that you are at the right place and at the right time and the universe has your back and you're here for a reason you know um, Everything that you need to know about me and my offerings and how to book a private reading, a session or tutorial will be posted on the description section below. Um, I'm also sharing my official link three on how to connect with me on social media and feel welcome to join our free spiritual community newsletter at the www.denominuspath.com. Okay. I send weekly emails with relevant energy updates. I am big on 
energy leadership and how to make universal forces work on our behalf. That's my jam, okay? Um, before we get started, um, all of you, please take a moment to step into your power and claim your seat your seat on on this sacred vessel you know make it official make it you know noticeable and obvious you know make your voice your energy and your presence count by subscribing to our channel you were divinely guided here um to be here with me today right so allow me to deliver you know when you subscribe you join our collective and you align your frequency so that I can channel for you, okay, so I can channel messages for you, and um, if by the end of the session, if by the end of this video, you realize that it could help, you know, benefit or entertain people that you know and love, please go ahead and share with them, you know, it's free, it's effortless, and it's very meaningful, not only you are helping us grow the channel, but you are telling them that you care and you're helping this information to vibrate higher and expand and reach others who are in need of support, inspiration, and guidance. And I'm, I'm very grateful for that. I thank you for that, you know. Um, and that's it. Thank you for listening <laughs> through, my, through my introduction. I try to make it short, but I just can't. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not sorry. You know, I need to make sure that, you know, I set up the right energy and intent, okay? You know, intentional, intentional work. So what are we doing here today? We are talking astrology. Of course, you already read the title. We are sharing astrology, you know, and the zodiac representation in tarot. Full disclosure, I am not an astrologer, okay? But as a shadow work expert, I will do my best to give you a good idea of what a zodiac sign means to you um, in tarot when it shows up in a reading, of course, in both light and shadow aspects, you know? So, first of all, what's the vibe? What is the vibe of the day? <laughs> yeah. You know. It's been a long day, okay? <laughs> I need this. <laughs> I probably need this message more than you guys. Okay. So. Ooh. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Speaking of shadow work. True healing, of course. When I give myself permission to feel whatever feelings leave below the trigger. Whatever is triggering you. What's underneath it? That's where healing begins, okay? And it's very suitable today because we are going to dig into the shadow aspects of your zodiac card, right? Your zodiac tarot card. So allow yourself, give yourself permission to um, receive the information and integrate and just feel it, you know, feel it. You have to feel it to heal it. We, we all heard that before, right? What's the underneath the, the triggers? Well, you have to do the digging, right? You have to do the shadow work. You have to do the shedding. You have to allow the healing process to happen. Um, and that includes facing not only triggers, but projections and patterns, everything that comes with your shadows, right? With, with the shadow work, um, all aspects of your shadow self, right? Okay, so thank you, Spirit. Okay, so let's get into today's topic so um like i said i'm not an astrologer don't come for me okay <laughs> there are three signs there are three very important signs in our astrological chart right and they really define our personality and how we navigate and experience life these are um your sun sign moon and rising right and the ascendant um your sun sign, of course, is your actual astrological sign. It is based on the position of the sun when the in the sky when you were born. So it's based a hundred percent of your birthday. Um, the sun moves around, you know, throughout the zodiac at the same pace each year, and it hangs out, you know, in every single sign for about a month, and that's your house, that's your zodiac, right? And then it moves 
on to the next one. It does it 12 times, right? So when people ask you, what's your Soria sign? Your answer is actually your sun sign. You know, that's the one that you're going to talk about. This is the one that represents you, you know, 100% based on your birthday. That's how you figure out when is your birthday. Look for it. That's your zodiac sign. That's your sun sign. Um, and it represents the essence of your personality. Why? Because the sun governs your ego and motivations. And um, that's usually how we interact with people, right? Then we have the moon sign. And that one is based on the position of the moon. Same story. So, But it, it focuses on your emotional nature. You know, the moon, emotions, feelings, intuition, you know, is the most private, secret, and intimate truth. And um, this is aspects of you that are not so obvious. Only people that truly know you get to experience your moon sign, your the, the manifestations of your moon sign. And this is how you connect with people. You know, that's how you personally connect with people, you know, your moon sign. And then we have the rising sign, the ascendant. And this one is really tricky because um, it takes over. <laughs> it really does. This is the face you show the world. Um, this is how people see you. So this is kind of like their first impression, right? For example, um, I'm a cancer son. I'm a cancerian. Surprise. <laughs> okay, let me see. What's happening with my camera? There you go. Um, cancerian, you know, and that's how I navigate life. You know, emotional, intuitive, moody and shit, right? <laughs> And, you know, the way I connect with folks is also very intuitive and very watery because of my Pisces moon. Ah, yeah, of course. <laughs> Bad news. <laughs> I, I feel totally naked right now. I'm just telling all my secrets. Um, when you meet me, though, you don't see none of that shit. You do not see the Cancer of the Pisces, all you see is my ascendant. You see that rising Aries, boss beach by. You know, that's the emperor, that's the king wearing the crown, that's the resting bitch face. So um, it's very hard to predict what the heck is going on. You know, that, that first impression, you know. <laughs> you don't know if I'm going to hug you or slap you, right? <laughs> but of course... I am going to hug you because I'm a Cancerian. I'm empathic. Unless you piss me off and I'm, I'm definitely going to slap you. <laughs> but you, you may like it. Though. <laughs> anyway, um, most people are familiar with um, horoscopes and their elemental representation. Like everybody's like, oh, fire. Air, earth, water. Right. So for fire, we have the Aries, Leo, and Sag. For air, we have Gemini, Gemini um, Libra, and Aquarius. For Earth, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And for water, okay, um, of course, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. But another very important classification of zodiac signs is their um, the quality, you know, or modality. And there are three very important qualities or modalities. I don't know what in the heck is going on with my camera today. Let's see here. I probably knocked it out with my hair. Like my hair is always knocking things out. Okay. There you go. Is that much better? Let's see. What's up? Right there. I think so. Okay. Anyway, um, there's three important qualities of the zodiac signs and it, it, it reflects the position um, when it comes to the season, when it, whether it's opening the season, closing the season, or right in the middle of it, right? So cardinal signs are the ones opening the season. They begin the season. 
And those signs are Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn. And these cardinal signs are just fired up and shit. You know, they're the dreamy vibe. They're very enthusiastic. They're just like, chop, chop, let's get it. <laughs> Energy, right? Meanwhile, the fixed signs are carrying the season. So while the cardinals have that youth, childlike um, enthusiasm, the fixed signs are like, wait a minute. It's more like adulting, settle, um, you know, dealing with shit. These are Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. And their energy is more sturdy and stubborn. Um, they're like, what you see is what you get. <laughs> and this is how the cookie crumble type of deal. You know, mm, non-negotiable. It, it, that's it. And um, the third one is the mutable signs. And they are the end of the season. They close the season. And these are Gemini, Virgo, Sag, and Pisces. And these folks are all souls, you know, um, being there, done that energy. They have this adaptable, wise, elder energy, right? So as you can see, there's many factors that are going to be affecting not only your personality, but your reading when you get these cards on the table, right? They're representing the zodiac, but there's so much representation, you know, um, in quality, in elemental, in everything, in vibration, Um Specific to the point that, in my personal opinion, the card, the tarot card representation of your zodiac speaks more of shadow aspects and how to overcome them, you know. And I'll get to that in a little bit. Um, just a quick refresher on tarot. You know, we have, you know, the major arcana and the minor arcanas. Mayor Arcana, 22 cards with all the significant milestones. And then we have, of course, the Minor Arcana. And that's the daily life shit, the ups and downs. If you need to get familiarized with that, go back into our playlist. I have the fundamentals of tarot. It should be within the first three lectures or three tutorials of this year. Okay. Get back to that so you can get acquainted with this. Um, Minor arcana is, you know, daily shit, ups and downs, and it contains the suits, you know, and, and the suits have the cords and the pips. And I believe the minor arcana holds, you know, um, the elemental energy, right? This is where you see the four elements in action. Fire is the ones, air is the swords, earth is the pentacles and of course water is the cups that's where you see the actual element breakdown but tarot representation of elements although it's really clearly defined within the minor arcanas um it is not limited to you know it is in the mayor arcanas where the actual zodiac representation sits as far as your personality, your profile, your archetype, that type of energy, you know. There is a major arcana card for each zodiac, but trust me, baby, minor arcana. Is where we'll see zodiac energy unfolding in our lives. Yes, major arcana is going to give you the profile, but that's it. Let me tell you why. Let me give you an example. Aries. Boom. Your card is the emperor. You know? And um, it makes sense. You know, authority, all of that. You know, bad bitch, boss bitch. Get it. I understand. But also the king of wands. Okay. Let me, let me get it. Let me get this individual, which is a minor arcana card. Hopefully he's not all the way at the end. King of Cups, Swords. Oh my God. King of Wands right here. King of Wands is a representation of fire. And this can be an Aries dude too. 
or Leo or Sag because of the air element and the authority profile, okay? So I do not want to confuse you, but I want you to have an open mind because I like full disclosure when I'm sharing teachings. You know, I will give you the tarot card for your sign, but I want you to be open and understand that the energy within the element in the minor arcana chords, or maybe some of the pip cards as well, could also align with the message Spirit is trying to convey for you on the particular reading. Okay, so from a shadow work perspective, you know, um, Tarot Studia cards is going to show you how to challenge yourself and how to grow. For example, my personal favorite card is, you know, um, is the Emperor. I, I, I am a Cancerian. You know, my rising sign for me dominates, so Aries takes over. But I'm also the King of Cups because of you know that water sign leadership so what does the actual tarot card for me for my sign the chariot does for me it represents my need and desire to you know for travel it um is challenging me to move to get out of my own way to overcome emotions and just you know step out of my comfort zone. That's what the chariot does for me. It does not represent my personality. It's just telling me how to get out of my own way. So, okay. And that's kind of like the energy that I want to convey. That's the message that I'm trying to convey by sharing, you know, the tarot cards, the, the zodiac cards, you know, um, so that you understand the message is a shadow work and growth and personal development message when on the table. Okay, so let's get it. We're going to go one by one. I actually have cutie uh, fortune cookie messages for each of the signs. Look at this cutie card. This is so, so I want to, okay, this is going to be for Aries. Ooh, Aries. Okay, I'm going to keep it quiet right now. Let's get into your card first. Okay, so. Um, Aries is a fire sign, you know, and it's ruled by Mars. This is my zodiac oracle. Um, I bring the cards to illustrate a little bit more of the personality profiles for each sign. It's not a reading. It's just personality traits. Um, Aries is a fire sign. It's ruled by Mars. And oh, Lord Jesus Christ, you know, Mars is war. So, Along with <laughs> understanding that the signs are holding the actual elemental energy, keep in mind the planet influence, okay? That's going to help you interpret the tarot messages better, okay? So, Aries ruled by Mars, the energy is war, you know, authority and strategy. So, your card, of course, is the emperor, the um bold ambitious and very competitive and we already said it this is the boss bitch and, and it is an invitation to take the lead but on a shadow work message on shadow work on your shadow self is telling you that you don't need to be a dictator that you can lead by example and being a compassionate being you know you can rule with compassion and love and inner peace you know that's the message you know, you see the white beard is wisdom. You can rule with wisdom. That is the message, right? Okay, so here we see Aries is radical, you know, um, qualities is self-starting, daring, and assertive, and, you know, very bossy. But when um, in shadow, it's very competitive and impulsive and um, argumentative. You know, it, 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 it loves conflict. It faces conflict, right? And it stares at conflict right in the face. We don't we don't shy away from conflict. You come in for us, you, you're going to see it. So, um, and that's not nice. <laughs> not all the time, right? So the key word here is assertiveness. You know, you can lead from your heart with assertiveness, you know, with compassion. Um, and that's about it. So your message, your little cookie, you know, fortune cookie message for um 
Aries, of course, we always have a message here. Speaks of achievement. Hello. Okay. Makes sense. Achievement. Enjoy the time light. You earned it. Meaning your spotlight. You earned it. Although on the family from on the family front, someone's health could cause some secret worries and sleepless nights. Okay, so enjoy your achievements, but don't allow excess work to affect your health. Okay, that's kind of like the message, you know. Don't allow work to affect your health. You know, pay attention. That's your message. Okay, so who we got next? Next, of course, is Leo. We're, we're doing fire signs. Leo, fire sign, ruled by the sun. And it's about warmth and strength and power. And um, your card, of course, is the strength card, representing inner strength and courage you know and like the sun you guys are the center stage right but you could also become really theatrical and dramatic and you know and when you know off balance you know you are egocentric but it could turn egotistical you know so your card is an invitation to be of service to others unconditionally because the sun comes out for everyone not just you right so your qualities, you know, is creative and loving and playful and confident and I think honorable. Honorable is a good word for Leo. But when in shadow, you know, you guys could be very egotistical and um, too proud and maybe a little excessive, right? So let's see what is your message. Sorry, so, sorry about my doggy barking. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but he's... I have a demon chihuahua and it just takes over. Okay. Now let's think what is my cookie, my fortune cookie message for Leo. Okay. We got here planning. Now is time to lay down the foundations for your future. Financial gains are more than likely. Ooh, Leo money coming your way get ready you know plan yourself so you can grab the bag you know um you know your dreams can need to go need to be grounded you know it's not so you know let go of the dreamy state and just you know take action so they manifest that is pretty much it so your beautiful dream needs a plan so it can manifest you know that's the message boom fortune cookie Okay, next we have Sagittarius, and that's the final um, fire sign. And Sagittarius, okay, Sagittarius is ruled by um, Jupiter. And um, Jupiter is about expansion and, and abundance and good luck and, and overall big picture thinking. And your card, believe it or not, Jesus Christ, Sagittarius, is temperance. And um, this is one of the cards that I'm like, really? Temperance? For Sagittarius, because <laughs> we know something about Sagittarius, and it's that you guys are not crazy. That's not your trait. <laughs> so that is exactly where why it is your card, because that is the invitation. You know, it is an invitation to take your time, to find the right formula, and take your shot. Once you're sure, once you find the right formula, the right elements, then you take your shot. You're not gonna rush in and be all harsh and shit, right? Sagittarius are known for the direct energy. They're direct to the point, arrow, you know, and sometimes it comes out harsh, you know, but they are, because of this, this quality that doesn't sound so positive, that makes them the greatest mediator because they cut through shit. They cut through the chase. They're direct. They get to the point, you know, and, um, this this is an invitation to, you know, gather all the information, you know, before you make a harsh decision or a hard statement or say something that you cannot take back, right? That That is the shadow work for Sagittarius. 
So your qualities, enthusiastic, independent, adventurous, happy-go-lucky, you know. But when in shadow, you guys got no tact, you know. And there's like a little um, tendencies of self-righteousness, you know, and, and risk-taking that is not necessary, that is more risky than, you know, it doesn't have the chance to pay off. So temperance is your cause because of that, right? Okay. Let's see what is your cutie message. Your fortune cookie. <laughs> Ow. Okay. We have here your future positive direction will reveal ex itself. Any doubts and confusions will soon disappear. Oh my God. Speaking of direct and to the point, everything is going to come clear for you, Sagittarius. You know, your future positive direction you your inner compass is going to be like ding, it's going to light up and it's going to reveal itself you will know which way to go just pay attention to signs because any doubts and any confusions will soon disappear okay that is your fortune cookie for today okay now let's move into the air signs and um okay why am i what, what is it that i'm doing okay let's see so i'm just gonna do this <laughs> Gemini, you know, air sign, you are ruled by Mercury, and it's all about communication, right? You know, socialization and self-expression. When Mercury goes on retrograde, you guys, I, I swear to God, you know, there, there's got to be a medication out there for this. <laughs> so your card, your tarot card is the lover's card. It, it's because it is an invitation for you to choose yourself whichever version of yourself you know honor your duality you know um your complexity you know it is okay to be you um both versions of you okay focus on self-love and self-care first then everyone else can join and complete your puzzle um the lover's cards is one of the most misunderstood cards in the zodiac because to be honest like oh, couples no this is this self-love first okay Self love first. Um, let's see your qualities. Gemini is curious, communicative, ver ver flexible, vers versatile, social, collaborate, collaborative. Oh my God, collaborative. There you go. But when in shadow, you know, is restless, you know, and fidgety. So, you know inner peace you know when you get to know yourself you know there's no room for restlessness you're you become assertive and self-assured right um and that's why that's your card okay um your fortune cookie message yeah okay I, she almost jumped give me another one <laughs> give me another one <laughs> okay let's see we have change a change of residence, partner, career, or job is on the cars, Gemini. You're restless. Oh my God! This is this is this is unbelievable. I'm talking about restless. This is you're restless and in need of a change, and that is exactly what's coming your way. Did I say more? Did I, didn't we just talk about Gemini feeling restless? You know, apparently, <clears throat> apparently you guys are on shadow mode. And you needed to hear that. You know, chill, 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 chill out. Job is going to get better. Relationships is going to get better. Your love life is, change is coming. Just, you know, allow it to happen. Allow it to manifest naturally. Okay. Next air sign is Libra. And um, Libra, balancing the scales. We hear this all the time. Re Libra is actually ruled by Venus, which is the planet of beauty and harmony and refinement you know but your car is the justice car you know and um venus is all about connections and friendship and collaborations so your card is an invitation <clears throat> or a reminder to balancing the scales and weighing your options when it comes to relationships you know um especially romantic ones you know libra deals with a lot of indecision and you know this airy non-committal energy which is you know very bullshit you know um 
the scale of um, of justice um, is placing is making you choose, you know, between needs versus wants, you know, desires versus actual needs, you know. Um, and only when the scale is balanced, you can make a decision from your heart, you know. Um, and that helps you narrow down and <clears throat> make the wisest decision, the truth, you know, sword, truth, information, knowledge, wisdom, you know. And, and, and you can do it from a fair standpoint, right? Um, your um, characteristics is harmonious, balanced, socially aware, artistic. But because of that need of socialization, your shadow can put you in a people-pleasing energy, you know, just obliging and very indecisive and judgmental, either judgmental or very flattery, which it, it, they're extremes of, you know, of not committing to a particular opinion, you know. Um, so makes sense that your card is the justice card, okay? So, um so, the, so that you are just and fair, you know, not making judgments. It's just, you know, hello. What's your cookie, your your fortune cookie message? <laughs> I told you there's always a message, even if it's a tutorial. <laughs> All right. We have here difficult times. Libra. Difficult times. Um, be on your guard against chaos as unforeseen perils or emotional upheavals are foretold. Okay. Uh, difficult times, we're not talking about financial difficulties. It's just um, your heart right now is going to be tested again. And this is something that keeps coming up for Libra. It's like you guys are going to get a second chance to something. Um, but even if you kind of like want to ignore it, like the uh, outburst of emotionality is going to come up, which is rare for an air sign, but it's, it's on the table for you, you know. Um, so be prepared, you know, be on the guard, stay away from gossip and chaos and drama and, you know, especially relationship related because you, you know, A, it, it's, it's going to happen, you know, you're going to lose it. <laughs> You can lose it. You don't want to do that. You know, you don't want to make a scene in your job or you don't want to be in the middle, of, you know, on the line of paying for groceries and just snapping at people because you didn't take care of your emotions uh, properly. Okay, so um, take care of yourself. Be compassionate with yourself. Be patient with yourself. Okay, and um, weigh your options. Okay, Libra. Okay, so next card is Aquarius also an air sign and it's ruled by uranus uranus whatever you guys want to change the pronunciation you know stop it okay um aquarius is a visionary aquarius is cutting edge they are inventors they are um very unique um as far as like their mindset you know they they have unique points of opinion and um, they're very optimistic they are the humanitarians of the zodiac you know always thinking outside the box i think that if magic was a person it would be aquarius that that is absolutely you know i stand by this although i i am not aquarian and i consider myself very magical you know aquarians are the shit right <laughs> so Look at this. This is your card. This is wish come true. The star card is wish come true, right? Is you after shadow work, vulnerable, um, clean slate, beautiful, right? Pure, um, ready, eager. You know, your card is an invitation to find a way and get shit done, you know, from a blank state, you know, um, type of vision. Come as you are. You see, she's naked. She don't give a shit. Come as you are. Original, authentic. You know, your true self is welcome and accepted. Regardless, you know, maybe you guys have been judged because you guys are unique. You know, there's labels for unique people. You know, weirdos, outlaws, 
black sheep, it doesn't matter. You know, take it as a compliment. That means that you are so unique that people cannot even um, relate. You know, they they cannot find the words to describe you. You know, and they tap into their lowest energy because that's they feel inferior. Okay, see it that way. If you see it that way, then you're like, oh, <laughs> oh. Come as you are. You know, it's an invitation for you to honor your authentic energy, your qualities, um, innovator, of course, um, experimental, unique and liberal, eccentric, humanitarian. We mentioned that. Um, but, 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 but on your shadow, you guys are very disruptive and edgy and sometimes detached. Um you know, people make you feel odd so that you become like the oddity. You know, like you're like, oh yeah, you want weird? <laughs> Take weird. No, you know, you don't have to, you know, like clap back. No, no Aquarius, okay? <laughs> Your fortune cookie. Okay. Did everyone get their fortune cookie so far? I hope so. I hope so. Okay, let me let me double check. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and we have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're good. This is the sixth one. Okay. Your fortune cookie, Aquarius, is assert yourself. Go for what you want. Time is ripe for soulmate connections. The birth of a child is also likely. Ooh. And when we talk about children and creation and reproduction in tarot, it's not necessarily of giving us, bringing into, bringing in a human life. It could be bringing, manifesting your project. You know, manifesting a dream. Um, bringing your purpose and your mission forward. Okay, so you just have to be more assertive. And go for what you want, specifically, uncompromising energy. That's what's needed for you, from you right now, Aquarius. Um, the next card, uh, we're heading into the Earth signs, and then the card is Taurus. And um, Holy Mother. <laughs> oh, my God. Earth sign, It also ruled by Venus. Again, you know, beauty, harmony, refinement. But unlike Libra, Taurus is committed and established. There's no airy fairy shit here. These guys are committed and established. Um, they have a very sensual, productive, and determined energy. And of course, your card is the Hierophant. Um, and I, I'm not going to lie. I'm not a fan of this card for many, many reasons. But this card for you represents serene tradition, you know, like traditional tendencies and settle on compromising energy, you know, um, stubborn, um, Lord, you know, fixed sign, like, I'm, like really, you know, try moving a mountain, that's what you're going to get, right, you know, but when it's good, when, you know, it's really good, but, but like, oh my God, on shadow, you know, you're just shit out of luck, um, Taurus energy is practical, steady, productive, fertile, you know, uh, pleasure-seeking. But when in shadow, it could be, you know, possessive and very stubborn and um, deliberate. Deliberate, which whatever type of intent, good intent or bad intent, you know. And um, it speaks of, you know, the Hierophant energy. Um, and the need for um, always reassessing your belief system, you know, um, what's impacting your life as far as like where is the root of your belief system, of your behavioral patterns, of your um, your mindset, you know, your paradigms, where are they coming from? Um, are they yours? Are they implanted? You know, that's why this is your part. Okay, so... Let's see what is your fortune cookie. Chum, 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 chum. Taurus. Okay, let's see what you got. 
positive work outcome. Hmm, okay, so you, if you are like in the middle of a work-related transaction, it's going to come out very positive results. It says consistent efforts will bring rewards and a major purchase is worth making. Okay, so is this a raise at your job? Is this advancement, career advancement? You know, that's the type of vibration happening for you right now, Taurus. Okay. So, a major purchase is worth making, you know, just in case you're in the middle of a big transaction. This is a, a green a green light. Um, you have to become more consistent um, at work and it will pay off, you know. It will bring rewards if you remain consistent and persistent, right? Which is not difficult. That's something that you guys can do easily, right? Um, next card is Virgo, Virgo, Earth sign as well, rule also by Mercury, you know, you guys have the same vibe as Gemini, but you carry that mutable energy, um, vibration, you know, like, um, wisdom and mellow, subtle, you know, your card is the wise elder himself, you know, this is the hermit. And uh, we already know Virgos are kind of shy, they keep to themselves, but they are very balanced and self-centered and insightful. But when in shadow, you guys can be a little anal and analytic and overcritical, you know. Um, so your card, of course, is an invitation, you know, to get out of your head and into your heart instead. You know, introspection, um, kind introspection wise introspection um you know to um have a, a wider perspective to look from from the top you know to detach yourself and be able to see something without um involving your inner critic right um Trusting the intuition instead of logic. That's the invitation. Um, your qualities, methodical, ritualistic, efficient, you know, very into health, very health and wellness conscious, um, but when in shadow, again, critical, um, solitary, a little nervous here and there, and, and a perfectionist, you know. Nothing wrong with that, you know, just try to manage the shadows and find out what triggers them, right? Um, invitation for introspection. Um, not necessarily solitude, but introspection. You know, you don't have to walk away from everything and everyone to go inward. This is something that you can do on a daily basis just to, you know, touch base with yourself. Like, what, what was happening, you know? Um, what is your... Oh, okay, uh, okay. You see, I a dizzy and shy. Intuition, intuition. Trust your intuition. I didn't. I just said that. <sighs> intuition. It is a great time to learn. A new skill to change career or invest money trust your intuition there's something coming up for you new change and an, an opportunity to learn something new or to develop a new hobby or a new career and you you know this you have a feeling trust your intuition okay wow yeah tarot is just perfect it's just per I, lo I love this okay so <laughs> capricorns Mm. Mm -mm. No, 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 uh, -uh. Earth sign <laughs> ruled by Saturn. You know, you know when we were talking about Jupiter. Jupiter is all about expansion. Saturn is all about limitations and boundaries. So Capricorns, um, you you all have like a deep need for control and security. And that makes you sometimes turn into workaholics. You know, and we already know that. It's not a secret, okay? <laughs> Your car is the devil himself. And um, 
you know, attachments, self-imprisonment. You can take away your chains. You see the chains? They're not even like, you take them off, you know, take them off. You can take them off. Um, this is an invitation to detach and let shit go. <laughs> Capricorn, face your shadow, bro. You know, face your shadow self. Go within instead of hiding behind, you know, piles of work and, and, and a million excuses, you know. There are always two versions of Capricorns, you know. We got the happy Capricorns and the sad Capricorns. But we will not be able to tell the difference because they're so well put together and structured. You know, we won't be able to tell the difference until they take off the mask. And you can see. You know, um, your qualities, Capricorn, boss, very bossy, um, not bossy energy, but you're the boss. You're the one doing the work and paying the employees and you're at work. That's what it means. Um, you're serious, ambitious, very realistic and structure, you know, again, told you very structure. Um, but when you are on shadow, you know, it's just rigid and disciplined and very demanding you know no <laughs> no so face your shadow okay um your fortune cookie message uh, capricorn nature you see, get out of the office. Get out of the goddamn office. <laughs> Take a day off. <laughs> nature. You know, interact with nature in the outdoors, around animals, farmlands, or by the ocean. This will be good for the soul and healing for you. Take a day off. Take a day off, Capricorn. Okay, please. Um, water signs, okay, cancer, okay, my people, water sign ruled by the moon, deeply emotional and caring, um, but do not, do, 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 do not, please, do not let that shit fool you, this little crab can snap your head off if, if, if you threaten their safety or their loved ones, okay, we are extremely nurturing, meaning possessive <laughs> and protective. And like all cardinals, you know, cancers are very dreamy and they're both material and emotional. You know, so we got that land and water duality. We, whatever we are, we, we're good. You know, we figure it out. So your card is the chariot. Again, for me, the chariot just tells me, keep moving, you know. Um, I'm, I'm always like, what the fuck? Like, why is this our card? And I'll tell you, you know, um, the, the chariot is about moving forward. And it's an invitation for us to get out of our homes. You know, we're always at home. You know, we don't want to go anywhere. Um, get out, travel, you know, rise above um, conflicts and emotionality. This is intuition, meaning your intuition will always win the race, Cancerian. Um, let's see. It's also... Um, speaks about how, you know, we always take care of others instead of ourselves. You know, we consider others wellness before ours, and that's just not going to fly. You know, it's like we're not, we don't learn, you know, too empathetic and, and too compassionate, which turns us a little bit into a suckers. You know, it's, it's a true story. I'm, I'm <laughs> so we need to, like... Get on this, chop chop, go, you know, and get over your damn self and your emotionality. You know, this we are always stuck in these emotions, you know. Um, our qualities, our feelings, sympathetic, comforting, nostalgic. Um, but when we are on our shadow, god damn it, you know, we are moody. 
defensive, sentimental, Jesus. Did you see the list of things? That I'm not even going to read it. Like, it's... <laughs> what is our fortune cookie message? Let's see. I am excited about this one. Let's see. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This is the cookie. Fortune cookie message. Wisdom. To focus on the past is to lose the future. Oh my God, girl. Mm -mm. This is so good. Heed advice from an older person, which will allow you to move on. You see? This is it. I needed to hear this today. I'm telling you. It, it touches. It. It's, it's touchy. It's touchy for me. Anyway. <laughs> now, speaking of empathy and... Um, compassion can you be dark and empathetic and compassionate of course ladies and gentlemen coming to the stage Scorpio <laughs> Scorpio sign of course water sign um, and um, it's ruled by um, death itself Pluto you know, um, Pluto as a planet is challenging and intense. And um, your card, of course, is the death card. Because what else can represent this much drama? You know, Scorpio is the most complicated sign of the zodiac. It's secretive, um, elusive, and they can be sweet, though, and caring. But they also gaslighting masters, right? We, we know this. <laughs> I bet you that John Wick is, is a Scorpio. <laughs> Don't fuck up with this dog. <laughs> Don't mess with this guy's dog. Okay, you're done. Okay, this, this, um, these dudes and the deaths are precious shadow work triggers. Um, and your card is an invitation. Um, to try in darkness, to transform and to become the best version of yourself. That is the challenge for Scorpio, right? Um, qualities is transformative, very intense. Intense could be a good quality, you know. Um, but on the shadow, you know, obsessive, lusty, compulsive, destructive, manipulative, you know, it's just what can I say? Wait, wait, I, wait, let, let me stop it there. I, I, I'm, I'm not hating. I'm not hating. <laughs> Maybe I am. <laughs> Maybe I am. Okay. Fortune cookie message for you. Reflection. Mm. Oh my God. Friendships in your life may come to an end. Others could blossom and become stronger. Okay. You see? Chess kiss. Um, everything comes to an end. There's cycles, you know. And um, attachment and manipulation doesn't work. You know, so just be open to the evolution, the natural evolution of life. You know, um, people come and go, circumstances change, you know. Um, just as others blossom, so can you, okay? So just like others become stronger, so can you, you know. So just be open to that, Scorpio. Okay. And last but not least, Pisces. Um Nah, you know this 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 is the mother law right here. Um water sign um ruled by Neptune, of course, visions, dreams and psychic abilities. And you wanna talk about shadow work? Pisces is the dark matter. Period. You know? Um a Pisces can see you coming and you better pray that they don't have an agenda against you because oh my god. You think cancers are moody? Boy, you know, they are as intuitive and moody as cancer, but unlike cancer, you know, cancer wants to get out and travel and, and get out, you know, 
um, Pisces enjoy looping and cycling, you know. Um, Pisces want to stay and go over shit over and over and over, you know. And your card is the moon. Um, you know, the moon usually represents cancer, but in tarot, the moon is Pisces, right? Um, go figure, you know. Um, and I believe it's because of the whole psych cyclical thing, you know, the two fishes just going around and around. Um, yin yang, bam, 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 you know. Um, it's it's that it's the attachment to cycles. Um, so this card is an invitation to find deeper meaning and the inspiration to break out of the cycles. You know, break the chains, Pisces. Um, qualities, you're mystic, of course, compassionate and healing and empathetic and, um, you know, dreamy. Although you are not a cardinal, you have that dreamy energy of escaping, you know, and enigmatic. But when you are in shadow, Lord, oh my God, uh, so impractical, um, self beating and illogical and just a fucking mess, you know, um, sometimes, you know, like the moon always, always, it's all about what you don't see, you know, um, your car is an invitation for you to allow yourself to see beyond the loop and the patterns and whatever you are comfortable with, it's just getting outside the comfort zone. You know, and allowing the truth to reveal itself, you know. Um, your fortune cookie. Ooh, two girls. No, we don't want that many times. We just want one. Okay. Romance. Ooh la la, Pisces. Love is said to sizzle. The chance for romance is high for those seeking a connection. If you're looking for love, Pisces, this, this is it. This is happening, okay? Open your heart, open your mind, open your arms. Okay, it's happening. Anyway, guys, this is it for today. This is our tutorial. Finally, I accomplished it. <sighs> Beautiful. I hope that you enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. King Guy.